In this video, we are going to look at one of the issues that come up when you're trying to import data from a CSV file and uh, analysis server tabular. So I'm going to create a little tabular project real fast. Tabular, and we'll take care of that. Let's see, on this machine, I am running 2014, I believe. And now, in the model, I want to bring some data in. So to do that, I'll import, use this import data wizard. Go down, I'll try to bring it from a text file. <clears throat> to browse for the file and at first I may not see the file because the dialog window has to be switched down here at the bottom and according to this it's um it's got an error message and that's because it says the the provider is not registered on the local machine so that that's an issue so what you need to do is you need to go find it. Now, the, the file that you're looking for is found on this website. Just type in this, this here at the top on any search engine, and it'll bring you here. At that point, you can hit download and download either the 64-bit or the 32-bit. Now, sometimes what you're trying to do demands 64 and sometimes 32. It really depends. So here I've actually installed or downloaded both of them. And I'll install the, the new one, 64-bit, because I have a 64-bit operating system. Now, this is what I expect most people would do. And if I come over here to see my programs, applications, programs, and features, which you can get to by just going to Settings and then Apps and Features, um, I have it installed right here on today's date, and there it is. Now, that's a 64-bit version, and we're going to go back to Visual Studio, and we're going to try this again. I may have to exit out of that. Let's, let's see what happens. Pick it up. Nope. Exit out. Okay. Import. Test. Or text file. Browse. Come separate it. Pick it up. And yay. It's going to work. Okay. So everything is looking fantastic. Uh, let's hit the next button and watch what happens. I'm going to use my service account. Error. What? Everything was looking so good. It says it's not registered again. You can see that or not. Right, let me see in a little bit. Now, and the problem is, and this happens kind of on a regular basis, is that if you install the 64-bit, it may not work. You may need the actual 32-bit. And when this occurs, your only option is to uninstall it from here. And then reinstall the 32-bit one. The good news is it doesn't take very long. And now it's gone. I come back. I install the 32-bit one. <clears throat> and we try again. Come on and finish. And this time it works. Amazing. So it's confusing, I admit. And uh, hopefully this video um, will save you some heartache. Um, anyway, 
hope that was useful. Take care.